Interlace Progressive. Blu-ray players support multiple standards and formats more than any other optical disc player in the world. They will even play the standard DVD and CD discs that you already own. Two of the high-definition standards that Blu-ray players support are 1080i and 1080p. The I, which stands for interlace, and the P, which stands for progressive, refer to different methods for drawing the image on the screen. The two methods work with the same amount of source information, but handle it in different ways. Progressive video images are drawn on the screen in whole frames. while the interlaced method uses two alternating interlaced fields to make a frame. When compared at the same frame rates, there is often a misconception that interlaced images contain half the data compared to progressive images. This is simply not true. The amount of information is the same only the method of displaying it is different. What does progressive mean? The progressive method draws a complete frame, or the whole image, all at one time. Instead of showing you an image piece by piece, progressive displays it all at once. Because of the way progressive draws, images do not flicker or tear at the edges of motion. While some might believe that progressive is twice the amount of data as interlaced, it's actually the same amount of information shown in the same amount of time, but presented in a different way. Older displays based on tubes are interlaced, but all modern flat panel displays are progressive by nature and will play both progressive and interlaced content. And what about interlace? Interlace is an older technology that works like this. All the odd lines of the image are drawn first, then the even ones are drawn next. These are displayed as alternating fields, which are interlaced together to create a full frame image. Only half of the final frame is on the screen at any given time. A field contains half the total data of a frame and must be drawn twice, in the same amount of time, to create a complete image. Under certain circumstances, such as with thin lines or fast motion, interlace may flicker. This flicker happens because our eyes can detect the two fields when they alternate. Although some might consider interlace an older standard, it's important to note that a great deal of existing content is interlace. Blu-ray discs can handle both progressive and interlaced formats. Each technique has some merits and some limitations. However, the future of home entertainment is likely progressive.